At least with the experimentation phase that we're currently in with DSI, what are you most excited to see to be attempted in terms of operationalizing some of these aspects of science as a public good, uh, and who's going to pay for it? So, I mean, from, from our perspective, we are most excited about like literally forking the scientific record and bringing it uh, on, onto Web3, making it permanently accessible to everybody. Um, and that is very, very well feasible uh, with the technologies that are available. Actually, this goes back to what Eric was saying. So the, the maintenance of the public good of, uh, of science, which is primarily about archiving and storing the information that has been generated by, by scientists in the past, is surprisingly cheap. So, you know, just basically us putting the entire scientific literature on something like IPFS is really cheap compared to the value that this actually has for humanity, right? And there is a lot of other things that, that we can do to really improve the situation, also in terms of, you know, allowing scientists to have make not only the, the manuscript itself publicly available, but also the data and the code. Uh, to make all of these things accessible uh, to the public, um, also make it possible for us to to grant badges and signs of uh, of quality for you know research that has been performed in an open way and a transparent way, um, and we can create totally new business models around that do, that do not rely on restricting access to the public or making scientists pay for publications. Uh, it's actually relatively easy to do that. <laughs>